Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die on Alpha 21 Experimental. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is Horde Night 28. Uh, so I got the base upgraded. As you can see here, all of the lower blocks are all concrete. Um, everything that's not really within reach of a, a zombie, at least not a zombie hitting, is cobblestone down here. So we got all of that done. And then I'll show you what we did upstairs as we go on up to prepare for the horde tonight um, also have two levels to spend so we'll do that once we get up there and I came up with what might be a, a fair solution for doing repairs during the horde night uh, but all this is concrete um, in through here and then I this is all concrete, but I made this top block and ladder steel because they seem to really beat on that more than anything else. Uh, our tight wire is concrete now. Uh, and here's my solution. So can I actually do that from here? Yeah, look at that. Okay, so I can flip that up, come out here, stand here, and, you know, reach that with the hammer to repair it. I already tested it, and I can, re I can reach it and actually the block below it too. Now, Zombo still might try and jump over here. Um, so, you know, I don't know how well this will work, but it might work well enough, you know, for us to, to be able to do it. Oh, I didn't realize those were sticking out in the air. They probably won't last anyways, but we'll see. Uh, I have a couple torches up there and put a bunch of torches in here to light things up. But we are going to be using pipe bombs tonight, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how well those torches will survive. We'll see. Uh, but it's nice and bright in here right now, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look and see what we have here. So we got, um... Over three stacks of 7.62. I'm not going to use the 7.62 a lot, though, but I have them in case I need them. Uh, we've got 80, 90. We have 93 pipe bombs and 21 Molotovs. So my plan is mostly, I should have put the pipes and the gunpowder back. Uh, my plan is mostly to use explosives and the spear tonight. And then I have all this stuff in here, you know, for repairs. Our, our little uh, stained glass window frame is now all upgraded to concrete. I'll probably eventually upgrade that to steel, but I don't have a lot of extra steel. Um, so I figured, you know, we'll just use concrete because, you know, it's 28, so we should be fine. And, uh, you know, of course, we have plenty of concrete here for repairs as well. So, yeah, I'm expecting this to be a, a good horde night. I'm not really too concerned. I think we'll be just fine. And hopefully, you know, we can we can uh, get some XP. Uh, speaking of which, let's take a look. we got a couple of points. Now, There's, I, I said I was going to start focusing on Agility Tree, which I will, but I'm going to postpone that a little bit longer because there's a few more things I want to get at least at level 1. Um, I want to get Pain Tolerance at level 1. I want Healing Factor and Living Off the Land at level 1, and maybe Iron Gut as well. And then... Yeah, um, for right now, though, with the second point, I think what we'll do is we'll we'll go with Healing Factor. And then I'll, I, I'm going to start, uh, you know, I'm getting a lot of seeds and stuff, so I think I'm going to start putting a farm together. So Living Off the Land will probably be the next one that we'll take, and then probably Iron Gut. And then after that, we can start focusing on... Uh, bumping up agility so that's the tentative plan we'll just kind of see how things go anyway i'll bring you guys back when the zombies arrive okay let's see if they path up here without us having to bait them Hmm. I wonder, I hope this hatch doesn't interfere with anything. I right, see him running. Here they come. Okay. We got a nice little group of them coming in. That's actually a nice big group. Okay, let's get ready. All right, our first customer. Off with his head.
That's probably enough to... Well, I think some of them might have just fallen down. Let's check this. Yeah, it's all in good shape. Yeah, a lot of them fell down to the bottom, but they got the return there, so... Don't hit on that. It's not allowed. Over she goes. Okay. Let's flip that up for a second. Just want to touch that up a little bit. Everything's in really good shape, though. Alright, come on, guys. What are they doing down there? Well, I guess I left a couple blocks down there. Hmm. Alright. Is something... Oh, no. Here they come. Okay, I was going to say, is something broken? How come they're not pathing now? Folks, we're in the back. <laughs> She's just a hang in there. There she goes. A lot of them are still hanging out down over this way. I don't know what they're doing. Huh. Alright, let's see if more of them have come back up here. Yeah, there we go. I might have to do some further modifications to discourage them from going around on the other side of the tower there. That seemed to kind of encourage them to start coming back up this way. I guess what we could maybe do is just put some extra concrete blocks in to block the other side of that platform so they only can come this way. There we go. Got ourselves another skill point. Um, I think we said we were going to put this into living off the land. Um, uh, well, yeah, that is what we were going to put it in. Then probably the next one we'll go into Iron Gut. I see, um, a bunch of them down below there. We could maybe do this. Oh, that was so far down I couldn't even hear it explode. Oh, I heard it that time. I think it was probably because of the thunder. See if we can get one down there. <laughs> it blew up before it could. Oh, they took the ladder out here. They're kind of, yeah, they're kind of like hanging out over on the roof section there. 
So yeah, we'll have to do we'll have to do something about that next time. Um <laughs> I don't think that's gonna do any good. Hmm, okay. There we go. We got a few more coming now. Go out here for a sec. Just top that off. And see if we can encourage them. Oh, part of the problem is they're getting caught down there. Oh, I didn't even know he was there. <laughs> Okay, there's a big old group of them down there. I think those were the, were the ones that were in the church. So. Here they come. All right, let's get back up in our little fort here. Okay, so it's a little after 1 p.m. And uh, they're still coming. Definitely not uh, huge waves of them, though, which is a good thing. At least for keeping things under control. Bye, Edgar. Hey, there's a bag. We haven't seen very many of those tonight. We saw quite a few the last card night. And then we get two in a row. What do you know? And buzzards. never reinforce the roof so yeah we might have to think about doing that too with the buzzards coming in Check this. This needs a little bit of touching up. It's pretty good shape overall, though. Yeah, they're not doing a whole lot of damage to that. In fact, I'm probably doing more damage to it than they are by hitting it with my spear. Everybody get off there. Alright, that's probably enough to do a pipe bomb. Beautiful. Just kind of... I'm not sure exactly where that buzzard's hitting, so I'm trying to keep an eye on things up there. Well, 
monsters getting annoying. There we go. Just curious to see what he does. Does he try to jump over that or? <laughs> no, he falls off. Ah, okay. We'll put it back down. Oh, that dog fell all the way down to the bottom. Okay, it seems like it's starting to quiet down. Let's go back out. I don't see anybody coming from down below. Steve. Okay, we got another little group coming up the ramp here. I wonder if I can hit them all from up here. Well, if nothing else, they have to come through the fire to get up here anyway. Okay. We softened them up a little bit. Pretty chill horde night though. Had little little groups here and there, but nothing overwhelming at all. kind of hard to hit his head because it's right there at the rim of the ring. Get over here. Let a couple of them come over and then we'll light him up here. Full up here. Let's drop some things off in here. Back or Billy? This is another nice sized group. Several of them uh, bailed off the side when I backed up this way, though, I noticed. How did that not kill you, Big Mama? Hey, it's morning. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Didn't need that leg, did you? Just a little bit of touch up here. We'll, of course, uh, check the stairway and all that, too. Most of this damage is just splash damage from the pipe bumps. These are actually concrete blocks but that are painted to look like wood, so that's why I accidentally upgraded a couple of them to steel, not meaning to. that.
tight wire. There's still quite a bit of them down there. Look at them. Yeah, you might as well come back on up here, guys, and give me some more XP. That block took a bit of a beating. Let's try this again. You have to walk through the wall of fire to get up here. Suppose if you had enough ammo, you could just kill them that way. All right, so um, we've got a couple of things up here we need to grab. We can't get all of it, but that's fine because we can. Well, you know what, though? I should actually keep all my repair stuff with me until we make sure it's all repaired, and then I'll bring all that back up here and just store it up here. You're not dead yet. You are now. All right, let's get back up here. Um, Actually, here, let's go... Touch up anything down here that needs to be touched up. But it's all in very good shape. So what I'm thinking is... Um, probably if we... If I block off... Of course, it almost looked like some of them were coming up from this side, too. I suppose... I mean, they didn't really focus fire on this and if I reinforced they did a little bit there but if I reinforce this with concrete too which I certainly can do I have plenty of concrete then it's not really a problem per se for them to come up this way as long as they continue to path around over to where you know over to here so they can get up that means I would probably need to remove this so I might do that instead of trying to block this off the other, but the other option is to actually block this off, so when they fall down to this shelf, the only way they have to go is back up this way. That's kind of what I was originally thinking, and maybe, you know, what we could still potentially do. So I'll have to give that some thought. We'll see. All right, let's go down the stairs and just touch up anything that might be damaged down here which is just about nothing. That was a feral Marlene, but uh, she may have already been damaged from like Molotovs or something because we one shot her, or we just got a lucky shot, lucky crit. All this is perfect. I haven't done anything at all with any of this down here, so all looking good. Well, actually, nope, that got tapped a little bit. Huh. Interesting. It's like a almost like a secret chamber or something in there. I didn't even know those rooms Oh shit. Existed. stamina left.
We came in here last time. Oh, let's go ahead and open this. Might as well. I don't think we had lockpicks with us last time, or at least not enough to attempt it. Um, oh, I don't have any room for this stuff. <laughs> um, okay. We can drink this. And we can... These are both used in recipes. I want to get rid of them. That torch fell off of something. All right, well, I, I can come back for that later or not. It doesn't matter. It's not that big a deal. Okay, guys. Well, that was a successful Horde Night 28. It uh, was actually seemed uh, just a tad less exciting than Horde 21, as a matter of fact. But depending upon how you look at it, that's not a bad thing. It means everything went nice and smooth and we survived and... What more can you ask for, right? Uh, so what I'm going to do is none of that's got to go back up. Uh, I'm going to go back up and grab the rest of the loot that we got up there and put uh, the re extra repair materials back in the chest for next time. And uh, I don't think... The only thing I'm thinking for Horde 35 is... Again, either I try to block these so they can't, so they only have this one path to go back up, you know, when they fall off up there. <clears throat> um, or we instead do the opposite. We open it up and let them also, you know, come up this way, which they were trying to do, and then just come around. But if we do it that way, we're just going to need to shore up, you know, these blocks uh, with concrete because these aren't, these blocks are actually pretty weak. They're not even though they look like they're not concrete. So I'll give that some thought, and we'll figure it out. But other than that, we don't really have to do anything more uh, for the next Horde night. I think we're pretty much ready to go. I didn't use uh, anywhere near the number of pipe bombs I would have liked to, but I was expecting there you know, to be uh, more bad guys than we had. So All right, put a little bit of wood in here. Uh, we'll put that... Cobblestone, so we got some steel, we got some iron for repairs. I think that's all we need to leave up here. Um, we could leave a few pipe bombs up here too. Nah, I don't think so. I think I want to take those with me just so I can always know exactly how many I have. Very good. Okay. So, um, yeah. There you go. For tonight, 28 is in the bag so we're gonna wrap the rep uh the episode the episode up here <laughs> and then uh, i'm gonna go home drop stuff off kind of get situated and then we'll start the next episode and i'm not exactly sure what do what we'll do we'll probably either do another random loot sesh or we'll just keep you know working jobs for the traders we do have oh yeah we do have this tier three infestation so most likely that's probably what we will do in the next episode so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment and share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye mm -hmm.